June is going to be an absolute blockbuster month for indie games. Before the month even begins, I already have a list of more than 50 games coming out this month, but it's not just about the quantity. Two of my most highly anticipated games of the year are coming out in June, so let's get straight to it. Hey guys, it's Cody with Indie Game Pulse. Starting off with a banger, Ender Lily's Quietus of the Nights has been in early access on Steam for the last six months, but is now releasing in full for PC and Nintendo Switch. I'm sure many of you will recognize the name and trailer from the recent Nintendo Indie World Showcase. You play as Priestess Lily, who awakens to find the surrounding area overrun with ghoulish, undead creatures. Boasting Souls-like combat and Metroidvania mechanics, Ender Lilies will likely appeal to many of you watching, whether you enjoy the Japanese dark fantasy aesthetic or want to dive deep into a mysterious Metroidvania world with challenging foes to overcome. You can play it in version 1.0 on PC and Nintendo Switch on June 21st and July 5th for PlayStation consoles, An Xbox release date has not yet been announced. Up next, and maybe the most opposite game I could have picked to feature after Ender Lilies, Hako Life is an adorable adventure RPG from Wonderscope and being published by Team 17. You play as an ambitious citizen of Hako who just wants to help their small village thrive in the modern era. With lots of people to meet and items to collect around the charming world, there will always be one more thing you can accomplish before turning Hako Life off for the night. And home decoration is something which Hako Life strongly emphasizes with being able to not only change the colors and locations of items, but craft them from the ground up with different materials, fabrics, and so on. The game comes out on June 2nd for PC via Steam in early access, but with Team 17 backing the project, I would be surprised if we don't see console ports in the future. It can be tough to find good co-op or party games that will stand the test of time. Games like Overcooked or Moving Out come to my mind, but Lumber Hill may just be the next one to fill that void. Even though you and up to three friends will be playing as lumberjacks, not all of the settings or situations presented will be traditional lumberjack fare, with pandas and dinosaurs even making an appearance here. With a familiar race against the clock mechanic and crazy variables coming into play, teamwork will be essential to complete all your tasks, but mayhem is sure to ensue constantly. And when you tire of co-op play, switch to a competitive mode and show your friends that you mean business with the sharp side of your axe. I love the variety in Lumber Hill and that it can be either co-op or competitive depending on your preference. You can play Lumber Hill on PC via Steam on June 13th with a Nintendo Switch launch planned for Q3 of this year. For those of you who played Untitled Goose Game and thought, you know what would make this better? Machine guns and rocket launchers. I have the perfect game for you. Mighty Goose is a run and gun pixel art shooter in which you play as an intergalactic bounty hunter who is also a goose. This reminds me a lot of early Super Nintendo action games like the Mega Man series in particular and it seems to have loads of action, enemies and giant bosses to take down as well. I love the humor, both in terms of the animation style and just overall presentation of a bounty hunting goose with an arsenal of customizable weapons. If you've ever been charged by a goose in real life, you'll be quite thankful it didn't have a gun because they are truly ferocious. Check out Mighty Goose when it releases on June 5th for PC, Mac, Linux, and all consoles. I am a big fan of the variety that indie games bring us and one hand clapping is a great example of just that. Besides being a lovely 2D platformer set in a colorful fantasy world, you need to use your voice or an instrument to change the world. As you sing into your microphone, you will solve musical puzzles and overcome obstacles by creating platforms as you escape the silent city. But you won't be singing alone either as the soundtrack backs you with mystical tunes and you'll even meet a few friends to sing with too. If you like singing, or just enjoy trying something completely different, play One Hand Clapping on PC via Steam Early Access on June 10th with consoles, mobile, and Stadia releases planned for the future. We're fortunate to have another great Metroidvania title coming this month in Astalon Tears of the Earth. 
but this time, instead of just one character, you'll have three unique adventurers to swap between as you explore this dark, twisted tower. Featuring fantastic 8-bit art and even a campfire save system, Astalon obviously harkens back to the Nintendo days of old, and I'm already in love. In classic Metroidvania fashion, too, there are over a hundred rooms to discover and many secret passages along the way, where you might just find some legendary weapons or artifacts. Astalon Tears of the Earth will launch on June 3rd for PC, Mac, Linux, and all consoles. June is apparently a big month for releasing new party or co-op games, too, and Operation Tango is unusual in that it is asymmetrical. One player will play as the secret agent, in the field running down corridors, and maybe even finding themselves in some familiar Hollywood locations. The other player will take on the hacker role, and will be in charge of investigating and manipulating different mechanisms from the safety of their secret lab or FBI van. Teamwork will be essential in completing the different scenarios, and so a microphone will be required for both players. I can already see this spawning some real laugh-out-loud moments, and I'm personally looking forward to streaming this very soon. Operation Tango will be available June 1st for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation consoles, with the game being included for free on PlayStation Plus throughout the month of June. As we move into our top three games, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know which game you're most looking forward to playing this month. Stonefly starts off our top three games coming in June, also on the first, and builds an incredible natural world filled with flying mechanical beetles and bugs. With the mention of mechs, I would automatically assume a heavy emphasis on combat, but the game is described on Steam as a chill and tranquil action-adventure game about self-discovery, legacy, and belonging, which actually sounds even more up my alley. You'll fly around harnessing the power of the wind and interacting with the flora and fauna of this handcrafted world while also finding and inventing upgrades for your mech. And there's a group you can meet and befriend called the Acorn Corps, just in case you needed more reason to play Stonefly. It will be available on PC and all consoles. The Red Solstice 2 Survivors fits nicely in our number 2 spot, and is a sci-fi, real-time tactics battler. Being a full sequel to the original Red Solstice, which came out all the way back in 2015, the story follows humanity's last survivors defending themselves from an onslaught of alien beings. But the focus is equally on the gameplay here. Red Solstice 2 is an 8-player squad-based game featuring 8-player co-op. You can play with up to 7 friends in your squad as you fight to survive the swarms, or you can even play solo. The co-op does feature mid-game drop-ins, meaning that you don't have to wait for everyone in your party to be ready at the start, and they can just drop in wherever you are. Red Solstice 2 does have some RPG elements to it as well, with being able to capture the creatures you fight against and learn from them, while also upgrading your character and his combat suit. Fight for your life in the Red Solstice 2 Survivors on June 17th, coming to PC via Steam. If you want to keep finding the newest and best indie games and hear genuine reviews from an indie game fanatic like yourself, subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss another video. And for my number one game coming out this month, you should already know it's Backbone. This grungy but cute raccoon Howard Loader has been at the forefront of my mind ever since I featured Backbone as my most anticipated game coming this year, and nothing has changed. The Twitter updates and memes have delivered all year long, and now we finally get to enjoy the full noir crime adventure set before us. Featuring a full cast of anthropomorphic animals, and lots of dialogue and weighty choices, you're sure not to discover everything in a single playthrough. And why would you want to, when this dystopian Vancouver setting looks and sounds as great as it does? This new trailer shows off a lot of previously unseen locations, and they all look incredible. There is a free demo available on Steam too, if you're still unsure on this one. Put your sleuthing hat on and play Backbone when it launches on June 8th for PC. That's gonna do it guys, thank you very much to my 855 subscribers for your support. If you like what you see here at Indie Game Pulse, please consider helping us grow by supporting us on Patreon. For more top indie game countdowns and reviews, check out the videos on your screen now, and I'll see you on the other side.